do I even do I even know the real definition for an adult? Like shit. I might need to like look that up now. I'm almost feeling like Ooh, this is about to be like borderline confessional. Is that what I was going for? I'm not trying to confess, y'all, but am I a fraud? Welcome. You are now entering the mind of Janae Shandell. Step forward to activate the doors and please enjoy your stay. What's up, everybody? It's me, your girl, Janae Shandell and i am back with another video so before we get started into this video i want to say don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel okay your girl is looking for a new family out here so don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay and don't forget to leave comments i love comments i read them i respond back and you know we're just going to get this communication flowing so make sure you do that okay so y'all like my intention is not for like this video to be super long i just i really just want to know if there's anybody else out there who be having the same feelings as me like they be feeling like the way i be feeling like and i know like what i'm saying sounds crazy like i'm not a real adult i'm a fraud but like sometimes y'all i feel like that like i feel like i'm not a real adult and like like i said i know it sounds crazy and like i'm in my 30s so i feel like at this point people are like you should like have your life together like you should know what you want you should have your plan and like all that i don't know shit was for your 20s and like i feel like i'm in that space right now so that's why i'm i'll be saying like am i a real adult and like i don't know but there's some things that i feel like when it comes to like adulthood that i'm not really on the same page with like i don't i don't want those same things so I'm, I'm gonna tell you some some reasons why I've, i sometimes i feel like like i'm not a real adult okay number one is i don't want the the white picket fence and two kids and being married with a two-car garage like that's just i just don't dream of that like i don't I like it's not that I don't like kids. I love kids as long as I can give them back to somebody else. Like, and I feel like eventually one day down the line, I might want to have like a child or, but I don't want to push one out. <laughs> That's my thing. I don't want to push out a kid. I want to adopt a child. And I feel like one day I will be at that stage where I want, or not stage, but a point in my life where I do want children. But like right now, I feel like it's a no. And I feel like other people my age, like, so many of my coworkers have gotten pregnant and are about, about to have babies. And, like, so many of my friends. And so a lot of my friends and family already have children. So, like, I'm, like, one of the few people in my age group who do not have a child or, or, not, or not actively thinking about a child at this point. So, like, does that make me weird? I feel like no, because I feel like there's still so much that I want to explore and do, and I want to move about and go freely, and I feel like a child, not ne not necessarily ties you down, but there are certain responsibilities that, that come with children. You can't just, like, up and leave, up and move, and move about freely when you have a child, so I feel like that's one of the reasons why I haven't even considered that as a, you know, something that I want to do right now, but, you know, looking at a lot of people my age and my friends and coworkers who are about to have babies be so happy and i'm like why am i not wanting the same thing or happiness like i just feel like the maternal gene skipped me okay so that's just one thing okay and when it comes to like having the whole white picket fence and house like to me i just i'm not that excited about locking myself into some like 30-year mortgage like that's just like not what i want to do like Anybody who knows me knows, you know, as a Gemini and as myself, like, I don't like to make commitments to stuff, okay? I don't like to commit to stuff. Like, my locks that I had and my relationship that I'm in now are the two longest commitments that I ever had in my life, okay? Outside of me going to college, these are the, those were the two main commitments that I ever, ever had. And so I don't like to, like, make long-term commitments because, like, I'm always changing my mind. I don't know. I don't always know what I want to do. So, like, I feel like locking myself into a 30-year mortgage and like a loan meaning that I have to stay here like like I mean I know I know buying a house is not me you have to live there forever people sell their homes all the time but I'm just not that entertained and like 
by 30 year mortgage like for me when i think about what i want to do for the future in terms of home I, i'm thinking more along the lines of a tiny house or rv living temporarily like there's just some things that i want to try out before i like get to to a place where i feel like i want to have a 30 year mortgage and, and truthfully i feel like i want to be living in a city and in a space where i feel like that city really feels like home to me and i feel like i haven't quite found that yet but I am 30 something and then a lot of 30 year olds my age already have houses already so it's like i feel like i'm a little bit behind um and like another thing is just like feeling like i don't really it's not that i don't feel like i don't have a life plan it's just that i feel like my ideas of what i want for myself are always evolving and are constantly changing um i feel like in my 20s like in my 20s i had fun and i did things don't get me wrong when i was in college i did have a lot of fun but a lot of what i did in my 20s was survival like survival living like i was i had jobs and i was doing certain things to survive so i wasn't really like living a life where i could just do whatever go wherever travel do certain things like i just didn't have that luxury because I, I had to like survive so i feel like now in my 30s i'm really figuring out who I am, what I want as a person, what I like, and I feel like sometimes that's not on par with what other people my age are doing, and that's why I kind of connect that to, like, not having a life plan. Um, I'm not married yet. I am engaged, but I'm not married yet, but for a long time, I just said I wasn't ready. Like, I just didn't feel like I wanted to be married at the time, so now I'm kind of more to that point now since we are engaged, but that's another thing. Um, you know, there are other financial aspects of being an adult that I feel like, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I don't have it together because like when it comes to paying bills and budgeting and planning, I'm the queen of all that. But when it comes to like other important financial things like investing money and, you know, having a 401k and all that, like I'm just like... To me, sometimes a 401k seems like a scam because it's like, okay, I'm investing my money. I'm giving my money to you to invest for me, and I might lose money. Like, it might not even be there when I'm ready to retire because the stock markets are crazy. But not only that, my thing is that why would I not enjoy that money now and live my life now instead of waiting 30, 40, 50 years to when I can retire. That's a lot of years. I probably added too many years. Why would I have to wait another 30 years just to enjoy my life and enjoy my money? Like, I, I, I don't get that. So, I don't even know. Like, I'm not even really bought into the whole 401k thing, okay? So, that's another reason why I said that I feel like I'm a fraud. Like, people are looking at me like, do you have your finances in order? What do you... What do you invest your money in? I'm like, I don't invest my money into shit. I mean, like, whatever. Like, okay. And like, you know, looking at other people my age a couple years ago really, like, put me in a not-so-good, like, headspace, mental headspace. And so, like, right when I turned, right before I turned 30, actually, I actually took a whole year off from social media, um... Because, like, at that point in my life, there was a lot going on. I was, like, transitioning from not having my own place into having my own place. And, you know, I had just relocated from another city. And, like, things just weren't together. Um, and, you know, like, I felt like being on social media and looking at people that I went to school with and college with were like living it up and were doing all these great things. And like my life was kind of like in a shitty place. And so I really, I really like took a year off from social media just so I can kind of like get back to me and worry about the things that I'm doing rather than seeing other people and feeling worse about myself. So like, I feel like that has changed a little bit, but I still see things on social media and I'm like, damn, why am I not there yet? Why am I not climbing the corporate ladder? Why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing X? Why am I not why, why am I not doing Y and Z and blah 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 blah? Like, anyway, not to get off on a tangent, but I just feel like there are still some things that I want to do that most people have done in their twenties already, like traveling abroad. Like I still I feel like I want to spend a year overseas somewhere, having some different experiences that 
you know, a lot of people my age already had that experience when they were in college because they, they did they did an exchange program and I did not have the luxury of doing that. Um, there are other things that I like, I feel like there are aspects of my personality and things that I like that I'm never going to give up. So like, I feel like I don't care how old I get. I don't want to dress like an old lady. I don't want to dress older. I don't want to dress conservative. Like, I feel like in some spaces, yeah, but, like, I like to wear fun outfits. I like watching cartoons. I don't care what anybody say. I love cartoons. Like, I love anime. I love comic books. I love Comic-Con. I love all of that. And, like, is there ever a point where you're too old for those things? I hope not because I don't want to be too old for those things. Um, I love those things. They are, like, a part of, of me and who I am. Um, also, I feel like from like a professional standpoint like work-wise that I'm kind of just like existing sometimes and not really wanting the same things as everybody else is because like I work with some people who are in my same age group and you know people my age are I'm not I'm not gonna necessarily say they're climbing the corporate ladder but they're out here and they're working business oriented oriented jobs and they're you know moving up into positions where they're managing people and maybe it's just my personality type like I just I feel like I don't want to manage anybody but myself like I only want to be responsible for me and like I just don't desire to manage people but I know that being a manager or a supervisor or a director or an executive director is like a seen as part of seen as part of being successful right and so I feel like the standards of what success is, is very different for me than what the general norm is. So like professional wise, I feel like I don't want the same th things as, as what other people do. Like I don't, I'm not, it would be nice to make uh, more money, but like I'm not actively seeking like, oh, I want, I have to work, I have to get a job that pays me $100,000. That's what I want and need to have because I feel like those types of jobs come with a lot of stress and I just don't, I don't want the stress. Like just to be an adult and just to make that kind of money comes with the stress and I, I just don't want it. Like I, no, get it away from me. Like I don't, I don't want it. And so I feel like professional wise, I feel like I really want to just like invest in me, invest in some of my skills. I'm a very artistic person. I want to invest in myself, my own type of businesses. And I want to do things on my term terms. I don't want to do things on other people's terms. But I feel like when people look at me, they're like, yeah, you know, Janae is doing a lot better. She's more stable. She's making money. She has this job at a nonprofit. And she, she seems like she has it together. But externally, yeah. But internally, I have, like, a lot of things going on in my head. Like, I'm thinking of a lot of things, and there's, like, a lot of I internal push and pull and turmoil. Mm, I'm saying the wrong word. Turmoil? Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of internal turmoil that happens with me, and I just really want to know... You know, am I the only 30-something out here, like, who has these thoughts of of living? I don't want to call my lifestyle alternative, but, like, what is it? Because if it's not what the normal thing is of having a, having a successful, um, having a job and being successful in a company, having a new car, having one or two kids, being married, having a house that you bought, like, those things are seen as the typical, like, indicators of success and being, like, a, a great, uh, uh, an adult that has their shit together, right? And I'm just, like, over here. So, like, what am, what am I? If this is the norm, then, like, what, what, what box am I in? Or maybe there is no box. Like, I don't know. But let me know what you think down in the comments, you know, have you had these feelings? If you, if you have, how have you dealt with them? Um, is it okay to just feel like you're not a normal uh, adult? Like I, like, I don't know. And I feel like people are like, well, you're, you're too old to still be confused. But I mean, like, F that. Like, whatever. Like, if, if everybody's saying, like, 40 is the new 30, 30 is the new 20, blah, 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 blah. Then we're all a stage behind anyway. So, like, I don't know. You let me know what you think. Am I pretending? Am I pretending? Or or is this the new norm? Is this the new reality of like how people my age are dealing with life?